Oh, what do you know? Me and my friend, Baby Shark. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina. If you're new here, welcome. I am so excited today to talk about our goals for the month of November and also just kind of my personal overall goals and where I'm at with my goals. What the kind of next few months or next lot of months will look like for me. So let's get into it. Feel free to grab a little drink for yourself, a coffee, if you will, a tea, a water, something. I've already started my peppermint mocha obsession for the season. So I'm having just an iced peppermint mocha that I made at home. And I am just excited to chat with you guys about kind of how things are going and what um, our goals are. Spoiler alert, they're not going great. So I honestly have been really looking a lot um, over this month. It, we're about almost to the end of October. It's the 26th right now, the day that I'm, the day that I'm filming this. But I've been looking at um, our budget, our goals. I've really just been doing like a deep dive into um, our progress over the last few months um, to a year. And I gotta be honest, I'm not pleased. Um, it's not going great. So that has encouraged me and kind of like spurred me on to make some changes, to get aggressive, to get focused and to really figure out, drill down, if you will, on what it is that I want to accomplish um, over the next couple of months. So the last few months in 2022 and also going into 2023. Now I know it's kind of early to talk about the new year, but I have really just been in a place of like reflecting and trying to figure all that out. I also busted out a new like planner setup, <laughs> which this is not a new to me planner. This is a planner that I've had for a while, but I did a whole like revamp on it. So I will have a video on that later um, at another date. But that's kind of something that really, I think, refreshed me and kind of like kicked me into looking at um, goals and goal setting and progress as a whole. And so that means that for November, we're making some changes and really trying to push myself and my family into a place of forward progress, forward movement. So to start off, the big kind of overall thing that I've been thinking about and feeling is that um, kind of like I alluded to just a minute ago, I um, just feel like a lack of progress. Like I don't feel like I'm progressing in many areas. Um, when I set out to start 2022, my big goal was to focus on my health and fitness, which that has gone pretty well. Um, but I also had some other goals. We had other family goals. Um, our biggest goal, which we have accomplished is cash vacations. So we have one vacation under our belt and we're about to go on our another one, um, our another one, another one. <laughs> and we are doing completely cash for those, which is amazing. So that is definitely a big goal that we accomplished this year. But as far as other items that I wanted to get checked off, I just have not done a great job personally. Um, and I think kind of with my husband as well, we have just have not done the greatest job. And so I want to really kind of get back into a place of really being focused on setting big goals and working hard to get to them. Um, you know, when you set a goal, it's easy to just be like, oh, well, if I don't get it, then it's, it's fine. Um, but that for me has resulted in not making any progress. And that is not where I want to be. Like I want to set challenges and at least work in a way that would get me close to meeting that. Um, if I don't fully accomplish that goal, that's okay. But I want to, you know, light a fire under my behind to get to the next level and where I'd like to be. So I've been looking at that a lot. Um, I also kind of realized this morning that I'm 32 right now, which means that in a few years, I'm going to be 35 obviously. <laughs> and I am always in, um, motivated by the fives and tens as far as years. So 25 was a really big, like scary kind of birthday for me. Um, 30 was like a more exciting one. Cause I was excited about where we were in life and like the progress that we were making. And now I'm looking at the horizon of 35. And so that has also caused me to look at, okay, where, what do I want to have accomplished at that point? And I need to start now with those things 
So a couple of things that are just on top of my head is we want to have a certain number, a certain amount in savings. Um, we want to be consumer debt free, like fully. And I want to be at a different place in my professional career. So those are just kind of things on the top of my head um, that I'd like to accomplish in the next couple of years. But that means I have to get aggressive and start working towards those things right now because that time goes by so quickly. So let's get into what I'm actually looking at as far as November and what that means and what this will mean for our family. Now, in the month of November, we are going on vacation. And so that has kind of um, shaped some of these goals that I'm gonna share. Um, the first thing is that we're doing a no spend November. And what that means is that we're not going to be spending any extra money on things that are not necessities. So to be honest, my spending has been so out of control. I feel like in the summer, I was preparing for Elias's birthday and our vacation, which was a big family vacation. And so it was warranted that like some things would need to be purchased. And that was fine. But honestly, it's just been like a snowball effect ever since then. And now obviously we're going into the holiday season. And so it's easy to just continue spending. But really, I need to get a handle on it, pull the reins in, pull the reins back and just knock it out. So I am focused on a no spend November, which means that we will only be purchasing necessities. And even within that, we are going to go kind of bare minimum on necessity items. So for us, what that looks like is we'll be eating from our fridge, freezer and pantry. Um, I know I need to do like an inventory of kind of what those areas look like and what we have available to us and figure out what meals I can make with things that we have on hand right now, but there's plenty, let me tell you. So the things that I will be focusing on as far as purchasing for groceries will be milk, eggs, fresh fruits and veggies, and probably a couple of snacks for my kiddos because those are the things that we go through the most often um, and the quickest. So when I go to the grocery store, that's usually what I need to purchase. Here and there, I'll need to get an extra protein, um, but I am looking forward to having a kind of slimmed down grocery budget and utilizing what we have. So that way, when we do go on vacation, when we come back, we don't come back to full busting like freezers and fridges and all of that. I say freezers because we have one inside and then we have a small freezer um, in our garage. So that is where like our items go from like Costco and places like that. But I really need to go through those, figure out what we have and start eating through that those items because number one, they're, I mean, they've been in there a little bit. Um, not crazy long, but you know, you just need to go through that stuff every now and then. Um, and then also that will help us just by cutting to cut down on our grocery budget a bit. So no spend November with minimal grocery budget. So a lower grocery budget. I know I, we are not the only family dealing with this, but inflation and just the cost of groceries is just absolutely insane. And I feel like it just is not getting any better. <laughs> So this might be the new normal, but that means that I have to change what I'm doing. I can't just continue living the same way and expect a different result or expect to, um, you know, kind of be in a, like a more favorable place as far as our grocery budget um, if I don't change what I'm doing. So that's my big focus is reining in the grocery budget and really figuring out what we actually need to be spending at the grocery store each month. That way, when we go into December and the new year, I can set realistic grocery budgets and stick to that um, and not just be spending tons and tons of money every week. I mean, I spend probably like I think last week, well, it was Ella's birthday last weekend, but not counting her birthday grocery haul um, that we had to do. I know I spent like 180 at Walmart um, for our grocery pickup like on Saturday or Sunday. Um, and then we still work like running out of things. So I know that's not, um, I mean, that's like exorbitant is what it feels like, honestly. But um, there's ways that I can rein that in. I don't wanna be spending 800, 900, $1,000 at the grocery store for a family of four. Like that's insane. So my goal is to, for the month of November is to do $100 a week. I might bump that up to 125 a week. Um, just depending, just because the prices are so crazy. But what I need to do is go through and do like a mock kind of essentials grocery list for just bare bones essentials that we might need. And then that will be my goal each month. So that is our goal for November is a no spend November. So no extra stuff. Um, I, 
yeah, just I'm committed to that. <laughs> Reining in the spending and just keeping it slim and focused. Um, another goal that I have that's actually related to my health and fitness journey is I want to run 30 miles before we go on vacation. So like I said, we're going on vacation in November. I know a lot of people do 30 miles in November, um, but I don't feel comfortable committing to that like for just like the whole month because part of the month we won't be here. So um, I want to get those 30 miles in before the before we leave on vacation. And that is a pretty lofty goal for me because I don't run. Um, I have not run or been doing much cardio, mini cardio sessions since before we went on our vacation to Hawaii in August. So that is over two months now that I have not been doing consistent cardio and it shows, it is showing. <laughs> so I wanna get back into that. I have been doing my strength workouts, which are great, but I do, because I have like a actual weight loss goal, I need to do a little bit more than just strength workouts right now. I need to get to a place where I am burning off fat and also making sure I'm eating properly, which goes hand in hand with the grocery budget. So those are um, two big goals that we have for November. And the last one that is kind of a more of a personal and also goes hand in hand with our no spend is that we're opening a new checking account to have a new um, like debit card for our variable expenses. So what that includes is groceries, gas, household needs. And we used to use cash for these specific categories, not gas. We basically never used cash for our gas. We just used a debit card, but we used to use cash for groceries and household items. And the truth is I just do not go into the store and it's way easier for me as a full-time working mom with two tots who's busy doing church events and just family stuff to just do grocery pickup orders and go to the store, pick up those items. But the only thing is that I find I do pickup orders very frequently. And so I want to get to a place where we're using this separate checking account that has a set budget in it. So even though those expenses are variable and they do kind of fluctuate, um, we give those line items we give those categories a specific budget each month. And so our goal and our intention is to put that money into this separate account and use that account for those items. And that way we can track them a little bit better, more consistently like each week. And it also will help me to kind of rein in the just random like spur of the moment purchases um, that I have been doing. So I'm of the mindset this is not good. This is like a negative thing. But when I look at our checking account and I see X amount of money, I think I can spend X amount of money. And because I know our numbers and our like bills pretty well, um, just like off the top of my head, I am able to kind of like look at things and be like, oh, okay, yeah, I have X amount of money to spend before, you know, we get into like a danger zone. But you guys, then I just end up spending money like willy nilly. So I need to stop that. And I think that having this separate account will be beneficial for that uh, because say we put $200 a week into that account that has to cover the groceries we need the gas we need the household items we need which households not a ton but you know when you do run out of like everything all at the same time it can be a lot so if I'm looking at that account and I know okay I only have $55 left to spend for this week or this pay period or what have you that really helps me to streamline and to just keep myself focused on staying within the budget. So I think that will be very beneficial. And then our other checking account, which our bills come out of, will just be for bills. Um, and then like our, our savings money and our tithes and stuff like that. So that is kind of the plan for November. Y'all hold me accountable. <laughs> I am in such a bad place. Like I said, just things with our family and everything is going great. And I just feel like when you lose, when you take your focus off of a certain area and you're focused on other things or other things in life are going great. It's easy to lose focus on, you know, everything, right? Like we can't possibly juggle everything at the same time, but I need to give a little bit more attention and focus to these areas um, so that it will benefit our family in the long run. So it's kind of a long winded, just chatty video, but I would love to know what your goals are for November. So definitely leave me a comment below and let me know. And I also did want to mention that I am revising my channel schedule. So Mondays and 
I think it was Thursdays are just not working for me. So my plan moving forward is to upload on Wednesdays and Fridays, and we will see how those days go. Um, just with my work schedule, the kids schedule, our church schedule, um, those Monday and Thursdays were not happening. So I'm going to try for Wednesday and Fridays and we'll see, like I said, how that goes. So thank you guys so much. Or maybe it'll be Wednesday and Saturday. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so as always, thank you guys so much for just checking out this video. Again, I would love to know what your goals are for the month of November. Share one or two down below in a comment and I will be here cheering you on just as you cheer me on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.